Thank you, Bob. Guys, y'all join me give a round of applause to Blake, Scott, and the whole MEC team, the great day they've put together. They do year in and year out. Thank you, guys. Well, friends, it has been a tremendous first four years serving as your state auditor. I want to thank you for that privilege to protect Mississippi's reputation and Mississippi's integrity. Today, let me just approach real quick initially, kind of give you a heart-to-heart -heart a little bit. You're my board of directors. You're who I work for day in and day out, the voters and the taxpayers of the state of Mississippi. In our first term in office, we have over 75 individuals who have been convicted or have pled guilty to defrauding and betraying the trust that we, the taxpayers, have put in the state of Mississippi. Today, we have over 65 individuals who have been indicted, arrested, arraigned, and are waiting to stand trial, and we have recovered over $5 million of our taxpayer money that was stolen and embezzled. But one of the things that we get to do in the auditor's office that is critical for the economic development environment in Mississippi is to make sure that we never have another beef plant, to make sure that we watch over every economic development picture in the state of Mississippi when the bonds are issued by the legislature, when companies are expanding and growing and coming into our state. It's the auditor's office that follows up and makes sure that our money is spent correctly and wisely. And that gives you and I, as other business owners and taxpayers in the straight state, the confidence to know that we are an environment that every one of us have an opportunity to succeed and that same opportunity to fail. The work that we have done in the auditor's office at watching over these tax dollars and watching over these economic incentive programs has been recognized by the Comptroller General's office in Washington, D.C. Following Hurricane Katrina, GAO recognized Mississippi as the best role model for other states to follow with one-time disaster funds. Well, after the stimulus money, the porculous money, whatever you want to call it, was issued by the American Recovery Reinvestment Act and Congress's infinite wisdom, once again, GAO goes before Congress and said, Mississippi is the role model of how to handle one-time expenditure of money. Because of that, companies across the nation are looking to locate here in our state to be a part of our business environment, be a part of what MEC celebrates at Hobnob every year. I'll show you a quick personal story. This past January, my daughter and I were returning from a hiking trip at the Grand Canyon. Now, y'all don't know what fun is till you take 10 14-year-old girls and their daddies hiking at the Grand Canyon in January. But we got on the plane flying home that night, and the lady sitting next to me, one of those things, you strike up the conversation, you begin visiting and find out she was flying into Jackson for an announcement of a groundbreaking in Batesville. Twin Creeks was coming from Silicon Valley, shortly be followed by Stion and others, and some of you may be with those companies here today. And the amazing thing was she shared with me the story that Silicon Valley was all talking about Mississippi. Mississippi was where they wanted to be because of the business environment that you, MEC, and other business associations across the state helped create by passing tort reform to making sure you got behind candidates and legislation and policy and ideas that created an environment now that we're starting to see the benefits of. Now, I don't have to tell anybody here that we're in the middle of a recession. CNN and Wall Street Journal have gotten to referring to it now as the Great Recession. And while our nation is in the middle of this Great Recession, do you realize the economic picture of our great state? Just in the last few months, not only of Stiot and Twin Creeks, but GE, Schultz Pipe, and others are locating and building and growing and expanding here in our state. I was visiting with folks at Eurocopter. Our staff is going to be there, going to be at Howard Industries and others, monitoring those bonds and the jobs that have been created. If we can do what we've done in the last four years in the middle of a great recession, imagine how great the opportunity will be if we continue to stay on this course when their economy does crank up. How many jobs will we create? How much difference will we make in the lives of our children and grandchildren? And that's all because of the job that you have made possible through MEC. And as your state auditor, I want to thank you for the privilege of being able to be a part of that story and protecting our state's reputation, our state's integrity. Thank you so much for the privilege of serving as your state auditor. Thank you all for being here today and look forward to serving you for four more years.